So this is my 125 gallon six foot long reef tank. I don't have a sump. I just have a protein skimmer. I use GFO, a live rock and live sand. I actually uh, got some uh, microfauna and, and stuff with the live sand from Inland Aquatics. Here's a mixed Zoa rock with some zinnia on it. I've got a couple uh, fire shrimps. There's one of them. The Acropora there is a purple one. It's grown probably twice as big as when I originally got it. It's doing well. I got a couple uh, nice big brittle stars. At the uh, war coral there, you got two different colors. It's kind of hard to see from here. The little fragments. I got a large plating montipora, orange. There's my firefish. Just went through the cave back there. <laughs> and it's my orange zoas with uh, porites coral mixed. The Prides is really growing good down the back of the rock. It's hard to see it from that angle. Another brittle star. Some blue uh, mushroom anemones. My Palau green nephthia. Another plating coral, nice green scrolling type. Hawaiian feather duster with some zoas, two of them there. A nice brain coral, that's my favorite coral. You can see my uh, peppermint shrimp down there. There's the uh, frog spawn coral, it's about four times bigger than when I originally got it. I've got some clownfish, yellow tang. I have firefish, and I have a couple uh, royal grandmas that I've got in uh, quarantine. They're not in the tank yet. I've got some uh, tuxedo urchins, lots of mini and medium-sized brittle stars, nacerous snails, etc. Anyway, it's, the tank's been successful. I've been keeping these tanks, like I said, for about 10 years. And uh, with don't need a sump. You don't need anything fancy. Just some good lights and a good protein skimmer, live rock and sand. I hope you enjoyed it.